Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Thought TV. Today I just want to talk a little bit about self-control, self-control. So I know a lot of people uh, saw the Oscars and there's still much talk about what's, um, what had happened at the Oscars concerning Will Smith and um, Chris Rock. Um, whoever don't know, I don't really know who don't know if you don't know by now. Uh, anyway, so at the Oscars, Chris Rock said a, what I think is a derogatory joke uh, concerning Will Smith's wife hair loss um will smith wife i believe she has alopecia um i don't know for certain whether chris rock knows about it or if he knew about it but he said a joke regarding her hair loss it was maybe like a three second joke and he said um something about uh gi jane see her in the next gi jane um gi jane is basically about a movie of a, a military woman she was in the uh, Navy and she shaved her hair off. And um, so he made a joke concerning the shaving of the hair. So uh, Will Smith actually laughed. And I guess when he saw that Jada didn't appreciate that comment, he got up from his seat, walked on stage and slapped the whole mess <laughs> out of Chris Rock. I'm telling you, he got up and slapped Chris Rock. And then he turned around and walked off the stage. And I'm like, did he just slap him and then turn his back and walked off stage? <laughs> oh, wow. So I had to like look at this from a different perspective. I know some people were saying, oh, he did the honorable thing. He protected his wife. Some people said, you know, they don't condone it because it was just assault and violence. Well, I'm on that side of the, listen, that, that was total assault. Like you don't go and hit another person because of something they said. I understand it was hurtful. It shouldn't have been said. It was the wrong thing to say, but that's something that maybe he could have talked it over after the broadcast or one-on-one, -on -one. but to walk on stage on national TV and to slap another person grown black man in his face I don't think that was necessary that was a total lack of self-control but as I analyzed the situation now I wasn't there so I'm not trying to say I was there to know all of, all the facts but just analyzing the video in the situation it seems like that wasn't a will trying to protect his wife moment it seemed more like a enough is a enough type moment because even in Will Smith's speech, he says something on the lines of, you know, we have to stand up here and take disrespect and people, you know, saying all type of things about us. So it seemed like that was build up from things, you know, people have been previously saying about him and his wife and his family. So he allowed that build up to cause him to go on stage and to slap another person. Like we have to get to the point where we have to have some type of self-control. You can't just go and slap someone for disrespecting you. Like that can't be, if that's the case, think of it in a different scenario or a different arena where you find people outside and they're walking down the street. Just say a man is with his wife and he walking down the street and another man says something about his wife. Come on, it's not common sense for you to just go up to the person and just slap them. Sometimes it takes more strength and it's more honorable to just walk away. Because had that been a street situation, it could have led to a fight. Someone may be getting uh, stabbed or shot or it could have went a whole different way. But to say that Will was justified by doing that, come on. No, that was assault. You can't do that. You can't assault someone for their words. And we don't want to paint the picture that we um, handle our problems or we handle situations with our hands. No, that's not how we supposed to handle situations. And for people to condone that, I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on? And especially Christians, because that's totally opposite of what the Bible teaches us. So now that we're talking about scriptures, let me, let me take you to a passage of scripture, Galatians 5 and 23. It talks about having the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And one of those fruit is self-control. 
That is, that is one of the ways you will know you have Holy Spirit is if you have fruit and one of those fruit is self-control. If you don't have self-control, you might have to look into like, listen, am, am, am I following the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit? Am, 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 am I following what, what the Bible is saying? So we have to be very careful and mindful. So it don't matter how much tongues you speak, how much you dance or run around the church and, and all this stuff, buck and huck and all this. It doesn't matter. You have to have the fruit of the spirit. And one of them is self-control. You can't go around with your feelings on your sleeve or let all this buildup cause you to put your hands on someone else or to assault someone else. Another scripture is Proverbs 25 and 28. It says a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls, meaning you're vulnerable. You're open for anyone to come in and attack you. So we have to get to the point where we like, come on, we have to have some self-control. We have to be able to analyze. Listen, is this, is, is, is this a self-defense moment? Is, is this me protecting my family Against someone that's threatening us or, or, or trying to harm us? Or is this uh, my ego got trampled on or someone got hurt emotionally and now I'm going to be at? No, <laughs> no, we can't. We, we can't do that. We can't do this like that. Because I'm telling you, like, as for me, I'm a woman and I don't I don't find that honorable for my for, for my husband to go and hit someone else or to beat on someone else because somebody disrespected me. I'd rather, I'm a brain type person. So I would have rather him use his mind, his, his conversation, maybe if possible. And if that didn't work, then, Hey, we just going to walk off. We, I, I would not feel good. My husband going hit in another man, and then it could lead to a fight or even death for him or the both of us. So at the end of the day, we have to look at that. And we have to take that into consideration. That's not always honorable. Honorable is being able to bring down a, a situation, not to escalate it. So sometimes we have to understand, listen, in order to escalate something, you have to just walk away. You have to go like this, walk away and bring it down. Walk away, bring it down. Walk away, bring it down. Ah, walk away, mm, bring it down. Ah, uh, walk away, uh bring it down. I mean, you have to do that. If that's how you're going to keep your peace of mind, do that. And another thing, we have to not get to the point where it's so much build up that we allow ourselves to fall into the trap when the enemy comes. Denzel says something. Anybody know? I, I love Denzel. I love him so much. Denzel says something that was so important and I totally agree. He said, be careful because when you're at your highest is when the enemy is going to come after you. I probably didn't say it verbatim, but on, that's what he said on those lines. And it is so true. When you at a certain point in your life and God is blessing you and all this other stuff, you got to you got to be prepared for the enemy to come. You got to be prepared for the enemy to talk about you. Come on. Jesus said, you know, the enemy is out to kill, steal and destroy. You're going to get persecuted. People going to lie on you. They're going to talk about you. But it's all a matter of how you handle it. Every action don't need a reaction. And you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Because sometimes what happens is people sometimes try to prove themselves to their surrounding. Like, oh, wow, I got disrespected. I can't let nobody see that I got disrespected. So now I got to do something. I got to say something. No. Sometimes the bigger person is the one that walk away. Remember, your character and your integrity is more important than that person. It's more important. And I understand some people may say, oh, well, if he didn't say anything at all, then people would have been saying, oh, he a punk. He didn't defend his wife. No, no. Forget people. Would pe Listen, if it would have escalated and he would have went to jail, those people wouldn't have gave two cents. Or God forbid, if that was a street situation and it would have went the wrong way and he lost his life, those people wouldn't have cared. They cry and moan, mourn for the moment and then they go on with their life. So don't care what somebody else say. Do what's best for you and your family and keep your hand to yourself. <laughs> you hear me? Unless you defending yourself or you in, in immediate, um, immediate danger, keep your hand to yourself. That's not justifiable. We don't fight with violence. Come on. Come on. 
we use intelligence. We use intelligence. So let me know what you feel. Do, do, do you think it was right for Will to put his hand on Chris Rock? I mean, everybody have their own opinion and you have liberty to have your own opinion. But that's my opinion. I think he was wrong. I think he was wrong. I also think Chris Rock was wrong. He shouldn't have never said that. That was that was a low blow. That wasn't cool at all. But on the same note, come on. Come on, Will. You you stronger than that. You better than that, man. You better than that. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you agree, you know, hey, 